Hey, I'm Sylvia and I am back with another finery challenge update for you. I am happy to report I am another week shopping free. I really did not think this was gonna be possible and I almost cracked this week. My favorite consignment store, The Clothing Loft, posted a picture on their Instagram channel of the cutest floral dress. It was so me. It's so hot out in Toronto right now that I was like, yes, a great dress to add to my wardrobe. And then I remembered the rules. There was no shopping. I put these rules in place. I am not about to break them. So I hope someone's wearing that dress and enjoying it. It was really, really adorable. If you're wearing it, tag me in the picture. I want to see what it looks like. It was really sweet. Um, but this week was really fun. I was at a family function over the weekend and my husband's aunt came up to me and complimented my dress. And she was like, oh, is that a Diane von Furstenberg? And I said, no, it's Fabletics. And I actually found it in my closet. It's two years old. I've never worn it before. And she was like, that's because you're shopping your closet now. I can't believe all the things you're finding. So it was really fun to see someone who's been following my journey and rooting for me and just making sure that, you know, I'm feeling really good about everything. This is not an exercise in boosting my ego, but it is an exercise in falling back in love with my clothes and hearing that people are loving the stuff that I'm wearing is reminding me that I bought everything for a reason. So why not fall back in love with it again? That was the whole point of the finery challenge to begin with. So another week I'm successful and I'm still going strong and nothing was added into my closet, even though I was very tempted to do that. A couple of things that happened this week that I thought were kind of fun in terms of using the app were that I started using the Finery app to lay out not only looks, including shoes, but the option to try around with a different pair of shoes. So I have a bunch of shoes in my closet. As you know, it's one of my favorite things are shoes. Um, and I actually used a layout on Finery to put two different pairs of shoes together to see what I would like more. And I actually couldn't decide, so I put it on Instagram stories and I let people vote to tell me whether they preferred the bold shoe or the neutral shoe. And the internet won and I wore a bold shoe and I got a bunch of compliments on my shoes, which was really fun that day. So I'm gonna try more of that um, to see if the internet wants to keep dressing me. It might be an interesting exercise using the app to do it, but the finery layout to actually mix and match shoes is really cool because you don't necessarily have to always wear the same pair of shoes with your outfit. You might have five pairs of shoes that go with that outfit and you can be reminded that you can wear a different pair of shoes every time. So the Finery app lets you do that without having to try everything on, which can be so annoying. You can just visually go, oh yeah, that actually works. That doesn't work. I'm going to try that next time. So highly recommend trying the looks tool to actually come up with a new look for yourself, just switching out an accessory or a pair of shoes or something. It was really great. The other thing that was brought to my attention this week was that I have a bunch of friends who are young moms and they have little kids running around. They've got the Finery app downloaded. They're absolutely loving it. They saw the magic that was all of their online purchases going into their app, but they are struggling a little bit with putting the stuff in their closet that they didn't buy online because they don't have a lot of time. So one of my friends asked me, she's like, what do you recommend? What's a good tip to actually start getting that stuff into my wardrobe? So I obviously told them about the widget and the app to be able to pull that stuff in really easily. But I said, just take it a day at a time. When you put an outfit on in the morning, think, is this in the Finery app? And if it's not, it will take less than a minute to get it in there. Just Google the things that you're wearing, get them in the app, it's so easy and then you have another outfit in there and another day will go by and you'll do it again. It might take a little bit longer than categorizing your whole closet at once, but it won't feel as overwhelming and you'll get there. And the whole process is falling back in love with your closet. This isn't meant to be you know, an overnight thing. If you can be using the app every day to help make your life easier, that's the whole point of all of it anyway. So I hope that little trip trick works and that you'll start to find your own ways of using the app that work the best for your lifestyle. It's not gonna be the same for everybody. For me, I had some extra time on my hands, so I went through and I categorized everything. Super easy. For other people, one outfit a day keeps the doctor away. That's not scientifically proven, so please don't hold me accountable to that, but I would say falling in love with your outfit every day definitely makes you feel better. So, another week, we will see what happens. I'm excited and I'm ready to tackle it again. And hopefully I'll have no temptations. I probably will, but I hope I don't cave. So until next week, this is Sylvia with the Finery Challenge. You can follow along at The Little Cream on Instagram and use hashtag Finery Challenge. If you're doing the Finery Challenge, please tag me. I wanna see what you're in um, every day. I wanna know if you're having struggles, what your favorite things about the app are. Um, we're in this together. So tell me about what you're doing. Can't wait to see you guys. Thanks.